installing the Focus ST intake, uh, RAM scoop intake, I don't know what you want to call it, from uh, 3D Motorsport Design. And they're like some 3D printing company from, from Poland actually. So got this for about a hundred bucks. Comes in in that nice uh, nitrous blue in the front. And um, I don't know if uh, Velocitech has a patent on the original design or, um, but I, I think they're they're pretty much like the, the original company. I don't, I don't know the history, but I'm gonna install this. It's gonna go right there. First thing you wanna do is take out the, the front grill. There's a bunch of tabs like along the outside. You just need to pull it very gently. And I've taken this out a couple times already, so mine's already kind of loose. Next thing I want to do is take this off. So it looks like there's like a little clip here and there's another one on the other side. I'm going to try to, to take this one out with actually, without actually getting or opening the cowl. I think I should have, uh, should have gotten a longer screwdriver. I'm just using uh, my double drive, cobalt double drive for now. So hopefully that is good enough. Gonna get a flat head. All right, that gives me a little bit more room to get in there. And that one out. Cool. Left side is loose. Let's get the right side. All right, let's see if I can get this one out before I take off and have a lunch with June. Yeah, you probably can't really see it, but there's another one of those same clips on the inside. All right, there it is. Sorry, I can't really see it. <laughs> so, the clip is right here. Got the clip out, I just gotta get the, the base out. There it is. Didn't have to break it, too. Looks like, still looks, so it looks brand new, so it looks factory. We've taken this out. So this is the one from the factory. This is what we are replacing it with. So I will be right back. I'm gonna go get lunch, but uh, it's gonna install like right here. All right, everyone, when the memes comes true, we got pizza from Sapporo. <laughs> So we're gonna try it out. It, it does look pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Does, but then again, I'm also really hungry. We're back. So we took out this little plastic piece from there. So got those two clips out. And now we're gonna be installing this guy right here. On the right side, it looks like there's no hole, but the hole is actually right there. So that's what we're gonna be threading into. And then I think we're using this one. We'll see. So let's go and get that installed. And uh, yeah, I just came back from Saburo. It was pretty good. Uh, not gonna lie, it wasn't too bad. I uh, expected it to be worse, but I was actually uh, enjoyed, enjoyed it a lot. Maybe maybe that's just because I was hungry. I don't know. <laughs> we gotta get to this backside, I think. So I think we're gonna have to take this out. <laughs> Should probably wear gloves, but I don't have any of those disposable gloves with me. Oh, I didn't even need to take that out. Okay, I'm gonna be installing this kit. Oh crap. Uh, this kit did not come with nuts. I had to get this from my dad's place. Um, but luckily he had some spares, so that's nice. So I'm gonna feed this guy through this hole and then the right side through this hole. One is longer, yeah, so the right side is longer than the other one, so this, this guy is going to go on the right side.
Aha. Here it is. All right, let's get the other side. Pretty tight. Hopefully I can hold the washer and the nut at the same time. I don't know if I can. Yeah, if you have a second person, this would be a lot easier. <laughs> I think the right side is uh, nice and tight. There it is. Let's do the left side. All right, let's install this guy back. Oh yeah, you could still get to the right side, but or the left side, I mean, because it's right here on the, this first little triangle, I guess under the explanation mark. Um, but the right side, yeah, you're gonna have to take this off unless you can reach under there somehow. Cool. Thank you, Stubby Wrench. Ford loves to use these. Cool. That's it. Let's get the front bumper back on. Well, it's pretty far back. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. It's kind of like, there it is. Yeah. Cool, well, I think that is the install. I'm gonna get some picks and let's see, next install. So either the front strut bar, which is right there, and they got another mod coming in. I, I told, told some of the other guys that it's gonna be a surprise. Yep, yeah, uh, thanks for watching.